Hey guys, Bellatrix Spitzel here, and thank you for joining me for a brand new speed build. So this is Uphill Manor. Um, I called it out mostly because if you could do um, terrain things, <laughs> um, I totally forgot the name of it, like the words for it. Um, but if you could edit the terrains, I would definitely have put like some sort of mountain um, on the ground for this build. Um, and I think that would have looked really, really cool. But anyways, um, so this house was built on a 40 by 30 lot and it's a four bedroom, three bathroom that came out to 279,885 simoleons. Um, I was going to warn you guys now when I recorded the introduction to the family, um, <laughs> I, my microphone was off. So I'm going to have to re-record the voiceover for it um, over top of the pre-filmed footage. So I'm going to try and keep the timing as perfect as possible, but it may be a little off. So we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So obviously this is a really big house. Um, I actually had more rooms than I knew what to do with uh, on the ground floor and this huge, huge entry space. And you guys will see that. Um, you'll especially get the feel for that when I start furnishing. Um, well, this was a house that I built um, a while ago. And once it, so this is just like a recreation. Um, I built this a while ago and I'd really only finished um, obviously the whole shape of it, the layout. And I'd finished the backyard, and I think I did maybe three rooms total. Um, and I, so I decided to recreate it um, with, you know, new items. And yeah, um, I actually, I really like how it turned out. I think it looks uh, better than my original. Um, obviously, I, put a, I had a couple tweaks here and there. Um, just because, you know, I'm never going to get it exactly right. Well, I could, but it seems like too much effort. <laughs> um yeah, so, though the railing is actually really modern for this stuff, um, it's not a modern looking house. The interior is not modern at all. The furniture is pretty, like, traditional, I guess, would be the word. <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. Just separating up the bedrooms and the bath, the top bathrooms anyways. Um, yep, a couple of weirdly shaped bedrooms up there. I hope you guys don't mind. I always think it's just, you know, a little something cool. Plus this way you have all these like hidden nooks and crannies in the bedroom, which I think is just really cool. Um, so windows all around. I tried not to put too many, but if you guys know me at all, then you know that I tend to put too many windows. Um, but I mean, like it looks nice and it gives you so much natural light. So I just really, really like it. Plus on the, um, second and third floors there wasn't that much room for windows um well there is a bunch of room but not you know floor to ceiling windows so um, yeah <laughs> so it's just anyways i'm babbling um i'm getting really close to the introduction of the family so i'm not gonna really talk about anything that's important because i'm just i don't want to have to like stop mid-sentence um yes yeah, so we're very closely there all right so here we go the family this is isaac blanchard um the dad so um i can see him going into the political career you know he wants to be president sort of thing i guess um yeah so there we go moving my mouth so he wants to be fabulously wealthy uh he's a bit of a snob he's outgoing and he's also ambitious and um we're just going to take a quick look at his outfits. So that's his everyday look. Here comes his formal. His athletic. His sleepwear. His party wear. And his swimwear. Um, so we are going to move on to his wife in a few seconds. <laughs> um, there we go. That's Cadence Gibson. She kept her own last name. Um, so she wants to have a successful lineage. She's family oriented. She's good and she's ambitious. In my head, she wants to be a doctor. She's in, already in the doctor, you know, career path sort of thing. 
Um, so for her outfits, that her that's her everyday look. Here is her formal. Her athletic. Her sleepwear. Her party wear. And her swimwear. If we go, we're gonna go back to the athletic wear right here. I can see her like being an athlete if she wasn't um, a doctor. Just, I mean, she has these abs, and I don't know. Just looks like the kind of person that might end up being an athlete. And right here, I had a hard time clicking on the eldest son. So we're just gonna spend a couple of seconds with me majorly failing to get him. <laughs> um. There we go, it should be working right now. Yeah, there we go. So this is Colin Blanchard. He's sort of the rebel of the family, um, you know, doesn't really fit in. He'd probably be in the political career in the uh, charity branch. So he wants to be a musical genius. He's good and he's creative. Um, so here we go. That's his everyday look. You know, the musical shirt, I thought I fit. And his pants match his hair. Which I actually really like. I tried to put a lot of green in his outfits because of that. Here's his formal. There we go. His athletic wear. His sleep. His party wear. And his swimwear. So now we're moving on to his younger brother, the middle child. Whose name I never remember. Dominic Blanchard. Um, so he has the thinking uh, whiz kid aspiration, there we go, and he's creative. Um, I can see him in the science track. Um, I love how he's dressed. He has like all these bow ties everywhere, and I think it's adorable. Um, so that's his everyday look. Here is his formal, his athletic, his sleepwear, his party wear, and his swimwear. He's no, he's so snazzy. I love it. <laughs> Um, and then moving on to the youngest, um, it's it's a girl, it's Lindsay Blanchard, and she's an inquisitive little girl. Um, so for, for her outfits, as well as for her bedroom, I sort of picture her as having a bunch of hand-me-downs from her brother. Not that, you know, her parents can't afford it, afford new ones, but, just, you know, you always use hand-me-downs for your kids, or at least you do in my head. Um, so that's her everyday look, which is probably something her brothers have already worn. <laughs> Um, here is her formal, which her parents bought her. Her brothers didn't have that dress. The sleepwear, which I would really, really like to picture Dominic in. Just seems like something he'd wear. <laughs> um, and here we go for her party wear. There we go. Also sort of a vibe that it's probably it probably came from her brothers. Um, anyways, let's get to the furnishing of this house. Uh, there we go. So in the, I guess, the attic room, um, we have a cute little library um, with these bookcases. And I don't end up keeping the two uh, floating ones on the wall, the bookshelves on the wall. Um, they just didn't end up fitting with my vision for this room. So we'll get rid of those a little soon. Um, obviously, you know, you need some seating. You need some plants in there because... Or else you're just in a stuffy old attic. <laughs> um, a chess table, so you know they can have something fun to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's been a long while since I've recorded a 30 minute video and I'm like, I feel like I'm already out of things to say. Anyways, just trying to find the perfect couch for this, for this room. A um, couple of lamps as well because, well can't read without light, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just put those tables between bookcases. I actually think I use these tables a fair bit in this build, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. <laughs> I might be a little delusional. Um, I don't think I put any overhead lights. I guess I don't, um, since I stopped working on there, but it's, it's, you know, I checked it with the nighttime outside, so the darkness outside, and, uh, it worked perfectly, so... Um, and it's the only carpeted room of this build. Uh, I feel like it works for a library, but in general, I hate carpeted places. Like, if if you guys like carpet, you know, good for you. Everyone has their own taste. But personally, I I would hate having carpet where I live. Like, it just in my head, it just gets so dirty and and could be very very smelly, especially if you have animals, which I do. Um, so I feel like in my Sims build, I sort of like it sort of reflects 
a lot that I hate them, and I just, hardwood floors are so beautiful in my opinion, so that's why I just tend to stick with them. Anyways, um, so here we go, the bedroom. So, you know, the dad's, you know, politician, want to be politician, he needs to always, you know, look his best, um, you know, in case he has to do a press conference or whatever. Um, and yes, I did take items from, you know, pre-built rooms. Um, it just helps me get a sense of it and helps me fill out the spaces sometimes. And, uh, even though I do just, you know, take and drag, um, furniture, I do try to make it my own if I can. Um, whether it's with the placement or the little, um, details, the decorations I put here and there, I try to sort of find a way to make it my own. Um. Anyways, they seemed like a chandelier sort of family, so that went up there. Nice big bookcase um, that I think I end up moving a third time to a different wall. Yeah, there we go. I think that's where it stays. Um, and then I just try to fill up the walls a little bit, you know, put some paintings up there. I put uh, my first simoleon made in a medical diploma, which is where I got the idea of making one of the two parents, Sims, um, a doctor, and I decided that it should be the mom. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then just a painting to fill out that empty wall. Um, so now we are working on Lindsay's bedroom. So she has the little bassinet in there, you know. Maybe her parents want another kid, or maybe it's just, you know, remnants from when she was a baby and she slept in the bassinet and they just decided to keep it there. Um... But yeah, I'm just filling it up with toys. You know, she has blue and green toys, blue sheets. Um, originally, I was going to make a boy sim, and then I decided that I wanted the toddler to be a girl, and she'd have two older brothers, and so it's a bunch of hand-me-downs from them. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> At least for now, she has the appearance of a tomboy based solely on her furniture and her hand-me-down clothes. <laughs> um... So now, here we go, I'm working on the two boys' bedrooms, um, to take a short break to put a mirror in Lindsay's room, so, anyways, so this is Dominic's room, um, the middle child, the science-y one, um, lots of blue in there, as you guys can tell, um, just, you know, filling up, I really like those shelves, um, and they seem to really fit for a kid that would, in theory, be into sciences, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, until he becomes a teenager, I didn't want to put a computer in his room, so in theory, that's just where he'll do his homework. Um, the eldest kid, Colin, has a desk with a computer, but he can just do his homework in the dining room or something. Or I just I'm doing a, this for the looks, to be honest. Um, yeah, so there are books everywhere for this kid, and I do change things around a little bit. Um, oh, I already did that. Never mind, I was a little confused as to where I was in this build. Um, yeah, anyways, he has a little science table so that he can nerd out, you know. And because he's creative, he has his little drawing table, which I think is perfect. Um, bulletin board, because, well, I don't know, why not? A <laughs> um, couple of posters in there, and I just wanted a background for those shelves. Um, and I actually think it just looked really, really cool. Uh, so here we go. Colin's bedroom so obviously he gets a bookcase because I love putting bookcases in every single pretty much in every single room <laughs> um, he has a bunch of guitars which I'm pretty sure his parents probably paid for because you know he's a <laughs> you know he's essentially a rich kid let's be honest it's it's nearly a 300,000 simoleon house and you know for a house like this because of the expensive bills you know you'd have to your parents would have to have a good job and They'd have to have a decent amount of money in the bank to at least be able to pay their bills. And anyways, this is irrelevant. <laughs> um, those are the, I think, darkest walls of the entire house. And I saved them for this kid. I just thought it fit very well. Um, there we go. Size up a little carpet for him. And I've finished his room. Moving on to the bathrooms. Um, I'll be very honest. I'm not sure that this works. And I do this thing for both the bathrooms up here. Um, I recently watched a video from uh, the YouTuber The Sim Supply, and he did this in one of his builds, um, putting the sink in. Uh, I, I don't know if he used the same object that I, that I did. The I don't know if he used the marble thing like I did, but he used 
um, an object very similar to it if it wasn't this itself. And I just thought it looked really, really cool, and I thought that it worked perfectly for this build, so I copied it. <laughs> um, but at least I'm moment owning up to it, right? That's how it works, maybe? Hopefully? <laughs> um, anyways... Hopefully it works. If not, just, I guess, delete the slab of marble that's there. It's, you know, pretty easy to do. Um, maybe just replace it with regular counters and then put, like, a sink in there. Um, I just really like this mostly because of the elevated sink look. Um, I think that's a really, really cool look. And obviously you can just put a bunch of objects nearby, which is very nice, but I mostly like it for the, um for this look at, little look at the sink. Um, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the second bathroom. I can't believe I actually did these last. Like, knowing me, I would have thought I'd done the- I'd do them first to get them out of the way, but I didn't, which is actually kind of surprising. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, I'm repeating that marble thing there, but I use a different sink. Um, still a very cool look, an elevated sink. Doesn't have the same exact look as the previous bathroom, but I still really like it. Um, though I prefer the bigger bathroom better. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm just gonna fill up this landing space really quickly, put an aquarium in there, put a couple of plants, um, I think I put a couple of, like, paintings or something, and then I just, you know, go to the downstairs. Oh no, I don't go to the downstairs, I go to the balcony, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure I almost forgot to furnish. Um, I was probably, like, getting ready to go down, and I was like, whoops, whoops, balcony, <laughs> gotta do that one. Um, anyways, if you guys can't tell, I have, like, no idea what to talk about, and I have something like 13 minutes left in this video. Oh, this is an issue for me. <laughs> um, okay, so, you know, lights to light things up, so you guys can, you know, they can see, the sims can see in the dark. <laughs> Um, I should have used the same lights for the entire exterior. I used, uh, different lights for the downstairs. Eh, whatever. It looked nice. It still looked very nice. Um, it's just moving things around here. Trying to make things look very nice and very pretty and very outdoorsy, <laughs> I guess. You know, hopefully you don't sit out there when it rains because you have no protection from the rain there. I should have probably, like, grabbed an umbrella or something. Um, but anyways, you'll survive. It's just water. <laughs> Here we go. I do put a full bathroom in there. Um, because, well, why not? I have the room for it. I have the space for it. And they are five sims sharing this house. So, there's a very good chance that, you know, someone's gonna have to shower and two people are gonna have to pee at, like, the same time. Um, yeah. Anyways, so... Here we go, I decided to make this room back here a painter's, st uh, painter's studio. Um, filling it up with objects from the room, I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's just like, what else are you going to put in a painter's studio, really, you know? And, I, like, it's just, it, they're all there together. It's just really easy to do. Um, oh, this is the only set of curtains in the entire build. And I just put it there um, in case they wanted to control natural light while they were painting, if it was bothering them or something. Um, yeah, that's the only reason it's there, to be honest. Um, yeah, and there we go. Done with that room. And moving on to this room right here, I end up doing a little gym. Um, I know you don't need that many speakers. I just really like the look of a full bar of speakers. Um, and since they don't have wall speakers that are more than that take up more than one square I just sort of did it this way um honestly I think I put too much lighting in the gym I think it's very very bright so if you guys uh, download this house you might want to delete a couple of lights here or there um and here I go working on the living room um again with multiple speakers it's it's for the look um, and sort of a mini uh, library area with a fireplace because it's so nice to read by a fireplace. There really, really is. Um, and also that room was just too big for it to just be watching TV. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> and I do my little round table there by layering four of them over each other at different angles. Um, I really wish they had round tables in The Sims, and not just the one square round tables. Oh my gosh, I love the look of round tables. Um, 
They do take up a lot of room, though. That's true. But you can fit so much food on there. It's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, I think I'm pretty much done the living room. And I'm moving on to the dining room. So, yep. I went with a black and gray theme color scheme for this uh, particular room. Um, I tried to get a bar that matched. Um, and, well... You know, the bar stool is definitely matched, and they're just playing around with the colors of the bar for a little bit before I finally settled on something. Um, and here I am just trying to find a way to fill up this empty space. So <laughs> a bunch of, you know, those little things. I can't remember what they're called because today is just a gigantic mind blank. <laughs> um, a bunch of plants on the table because just why not, you know? Let's fill it up. Let's decorate this thing. A um, couple of bottles of alcohol on the wall, china on the other wall, mirrors, um, I guess, well, honestly, the mirrors are just there because I wanted to fill up the space. <laughs> um, yeah, so just gonna put in some lighting and I think I am done for the dining room. Um, moving on to the kitchen now. It's a huge kitchen. I love huge kitchens. Um, I think I end up going for wood floors still. Though, I like the idea of having a tiled kitchen. I just didn't really find anything that I really liked. Um, so I kept wood floors. Like, honestly, if there was a tile that matched that dark brown wood, I'd probably use it. Um, so the reason I don't keep this wall tile is because it just looked too modern for this house. Um, it just, it, it's, I don't know. I, I think I look at that and I think modern, and it, this house just really isn't modern, so... Um, yeah. Here we go. Bar stools everywhere because it's just fun. I try a thing here where I'm like, I'm going to put the stove on the corner and it just looked horrible. So, um, I went with no. <laughs> um, so there I go. I'm just hugging the fridge together with the counters because I really just hate when it's, you know, when there's space between it. Um, yes, yeah, so a nice little hidden dishwasher. Um, yep. <laughs> Just gonna stick a bunch of appliances in there. Oh yeah, so this, I sort of lined the wall with them, um, as sort of like a makeshift pantry, um, look thing. One day I'm going to make a house that has a walk-in pantry. A sim house with a walk-in pantry. I don't think I have enough objects, um, to do a walk-in pantry, um, but... I mean, if you guys have ca uh, custom content anywhere, you guys will definitely be able to fill up a walk-in pantry. So, mine will probably be very um, very empty if I do it, but that's just how The Sims is. <laughs> um, once again, just looking for random objects to fill up the walls. Um, but I, I think it looked good. I think it looked really nice, actually. Um, there are a lot of light fixtures <laughs> in this kitchen. Uh, mostly because those on the bar area just don't have much effect. Um, so it just looks very abundant, but I like having those hanging over. So, yeah. Um, here I am just trying like heck to find anything to fill up that freaking room. Um, oh. What did I do? Alright, sorry about that. Um, my... The image on my screen just sort of like jumped to a different section of video and I thought that like the voiceover was completely ruined, um, but it wasn't. Uh, there's just like a couple seconds of silence and um, me saying, what have I done? <laughs> but anyways, it's no big deal. It doesn't affect the video at all. It's just I was confused a little bit, which is a very normal occurrence for me. Anyways. Um, like I was saying, just trying to find anything to fill up the space. So I have a bunch of plants. I got a couple of things on the wall. I've got that couch and that side table in the very front of it. Um, I mean, it does end up being quite empty, but it's an entrance. Like, you're not going to fill it up too much. Um, yeah, so just working on the front deck here. Just a little bit of seating and a couple of plants. I wanted to keep it pretty simple. Um... I did not put an exterior garbage for this build because it looks like there's one right outside. Um, so I just did not feel like I needed it. Um, yeah, so 
no exterior garbage on that lot. Um, and yes, I did put the mailbox up on the front porch because I just think it looked really nice there. I think it looked better than having it on the ground up front. Um, so I keep the plants pretty simple. I keep them mostly confined to that little fenced area and um, its interior. Um, though it's still pretty sparse. Um, yeah, just a bunch of cute little flowers and bushes and just a bunch of colors. I just want to, like, scream spring, I guess. <laughs> um, it's spring in Canada, though, in Montreal. I think it, like, recently snowed, which is horrible. Um, I mean, like, there's, tu there's, there's tulips, tulips out, and then it's, like, freezing at night, so I don't know what's going on with the, with the weather. Anyways, I'm going on a rant here. Um... I'm in like I'm in the mood where it should be spring, so I'm just like flowers everywhere. Bring me all of the floral colors. <laughs> um, anyways, a couple of trees up front. Um, I I just sort of do a floral um, uh, terrain paint and um, just a couple of lights on the you know front area. I don't. It looked weird, but I actually think it looked good in in a weird looking way. <laughs> um, Anyways, here we go. Barbecue area with the sink, because why not? Um, table with chairs so you can eat your barbecue food. Um, bench snuck away in that corner, and a couple of seating seats there just, you know, by the pool. Um, oh, I really, really like the fenced look um, by the pool. You know, half hedges, half actual fence. I think it just looks really, really, really nice. And just a couple of lights here and there. I mean... It's really hard to properly light up a backyard unless you have like those um, gigantic light posts, which I don't really like the look of in general for backyards. I have used it on occasion, but it's just not my favorite thing in the world. Um, yeah, so there we go. But I love that little fountain area. I think it's so, so pretty and I would love to just like sit in front of it or sit on its edge and dip my feet in. I just... I think it's amazing. Plus, there's plants in the back, and you can just see them protruding, and I think it's just so pretty. Um, anyways, <laughs> doing my own horn there. Um, just trying to fill it up with as many plants as possible. Trying to make it look just very, very nice. Um, I think I have a cl relatively close-up screenshot of that. Um coming to you guys soon. Oh, well, it's not super close up, but you guys will get a decent idea of what it looks like, especially if you watch the screenshots, um, full screen. Um, yeah, so just a couple of trees to fill up that backyard, and under the willow tree, I put a couple of seats there, and I do put a couple of books, which, I mean, you don't really want to have books lying around, but I think it's just really cool, and it's sort of like an area, you know, you go out and read out below the tree. Um, I think that's just really, really cool. Uh, anyways, here are the screenshots. Um, and yeah, <laughs> coming up on the relative close up. There we go. So it's just, it's a very pretty view, that little fountain area. I really, really like it. I would love to spend my entire day there. Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe so you guys know when my next videos are up. Um, check out my other videos as well. <laughs> um, there's a link in the description below to where you can download uh, this house and the family. I was going to say where you can download this video. That would have been wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, so where you can download this house and this family. And um, yeah, I mean, check out the other things I've posted. I have some pretty cool builds up there. Um, some pretty interesting family families <laughs> um yeah i mean words things stuff there's just a couple of pictures left i promise i'll stop being weird because this video will be over so you guys will have to wait until monday to hear me babble on about nothing anyways um video is coming to an, e to an end thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day